Welcome to the lecture. And now we're going to see the website for the community of Sault Ste. Marie. Here we are in the Rural Northern Immigration Pilot Program. And when we visit the page, we can see we have two choices. We have one for the employers when they want to learn about the, the pilot program. And we have another one for the applicants. We click the applicant choice. Then we are directed to this application. The application process steps okay and we follow the information and the instructions in the website for us as candidates to be able to apply and try to get a nomination or recommendation from the community so let's walk through the steps that I imagine you already are familiar with overall but let's follow the instruction from this website step one of course you need to make sure that you are IRCC federal eligibility requirements, you meet all those requirements. You need to find in step two, full-time permanent employment in Sault Marie. And we have some information here. One of the requirements is that you currently employ or have a job offer from an employer in Sault Marie. And if you are not currently employed or have a job offer, then you need to check this job posting that they have here in the website. Please note that the city of Sault Ste. Marie will not assist candidates with a job search. So it's not the role of the city to help you to look for a job. The only thing they, they can do is to guide you to the job choices, job board, and then you need to do that on your own. Okay. Employers will conduct normal hiring practices such as interviews and reference checks. That's part of the employer. And then you have to fill out the offer of employment form and it has to be filled out by the employer with a signature and it's important and it's your responsibility to log this form as part of your application. Remember you cannot miss this, this form in your application or your application won't be uh, processed. Then we go to step three. You need to check that you match the community requirements. I'm going to take a look at those requirements in a moment. And that information, the community recommendation committee will be assessing candidates tied to the community to ensure that you and your family are prepared to reside in Sault Ste. Marie after you receive your permanent residence. That's, that's the main goal from, from the community. Step four, if you're ready to apply, you need to download and complete the application form, IMM 5911. And then in step five, you need to submit the application in this link here, okay? And step six will be that you will the coordinator will request any other information via email and the documentation might include or will include definitely resume language credentials educational credentials and any other supporting documents that they ask you for and then saying no for everybody is that they're gonna the documents will be copies because the originals you will require the original for your permanent resident application to IRCC step seven your application will be reviewed by the community recommendation committee Step A is determined that you meet the requirements for the Rural Northern and Immigration Pilot Program. You will give a nomination letter from the Community Recommendation Committee via email. And then you're going to use that letter in Steps 9 to apply directly to IRCC for your permanent residence. Okay? Remember that this application for permanent residence will be a paper base. Of today, that's the instruction. Step 10. The IRCC will review your application for PR and that will include also some medical, financial documents and criminal record checks. And once you receive your permanent residence, if everything goes well, then you can make arrangements for you and your family to move to Sault Ste. Marie. So basically, these are the 11 steps that you need to fulfill. You don't need to get that. Here you have a guide to permanent resident that you can click for more information. And you have a timeline here. Important to check the timeline. Eligible application will be retained for one year. Okay. So there's other cities that are only for three months, or for six months. So Samari is going to retain your application for one year. Then the application will be reviewed by the Community Recommendation Committee on a monthly basis. They're going to do it every month. They're going to be reviewing. Different from other communities, they do it every, every two weeks. So in this case of Sault Ste. Marie, they're going to do it every month. And the geo application timelines will 
vary depending on the employer and job that you're applying for, of course. The process of employment is going to depend between you and the employer, and the time will vary. It will be different, okay? Other considerations, that you, uh, other things that you need to consider is that due to high volume of applications, if you don't get an answer from them for your questions, it's just taking a little time because of the volume that they have. But also, if you don't hear from them in six weeks, basically it means that you haven't been considered for any recommendation at that time, okay? But they will keep your, your file, your application file for a year, which means you shouldn't be applying again that frequently. You need to wait because your file is active for a year. But in, in six weeks, if they haven't called you, normally it's because you haven't been considered. The email is a preferred method of communication, and they have the email that you, you have here for the city. And the corporation of the city is not affiliated with any immigration law firm or any immigration representative. Remember that. If, if you're going to use a representative, then you need to fill out the, the information about making that choice. And... This is more information for you about the path to immigration. So here you have another set of the, uh, the applications that will not be considered if they are incomplete and they don't meet the minimum qualifications. And wh what are those minimum qualifications? Well, you need a job offer from a social memory employer. You need English or French language credentials, do a test. You have uh, educational credential requirements when uh, an approved agency for, for ISCC. And you need to meet the financial requirements. Okay, then if you're ready to apply, you're going to click here. When you have all the documentation and everything, you just click here and you'll be able to apply. Good. Now let's visit some of those choices here when it comes to job posting. So if we click here, I'm going to open another link. And this is the career section of the website. And you can see the jobs here. You can, you have the keyword here. You can filter the information. You have it for, by different industry. And you can filter the information also in category of, of, by occupations or by company. So you have several choices. So here you have a sample of what you're going to get with the positions that are available right now. Being supervisor, production supervisor, structure supervisor. Remember that this is going to have, you, you're going to find here regulated occupations and not regulated occupations. And depending on which one is yours, then you you know what to do in order to apply. So you have several pages here, Me mechanical maintenance technician, and it tell you about the company and when it was posted, okay? And they're still open, so they haven't filled the position yet. But basically, those are the position that they have right now. If we continue to community requirements, when it comes to community requirements for Salt St. Marie, these are the requirements that you're gonna need to fill out. Remember that you need to meet the federal eligibility criteria first and then go and check the requirement for the community they're looking at a total score of 70 or above so seven is your the minimum you need to score in this assessment and then here you have number one the applicant has received a job offer in one of these noc groups and you get 55 points for that and these are the groups you can check that noc 11 professional occupation in business in natural applied sciences, in nursing, healthcare, education. So you have different positions here. You need to make sure that you meet the requirements of in, in this industry because these are the industries that the community is looking for. Okay? They have even chef here at the bottom. And here is applicants with a job offer not listed above will be considered only at the discretion of the committee. If you get a job offer from an employer but it's not there, then it's up to them, to the committee, to decide they want to you know, grant you a recommendation, okay? Point number two, the applicant age on the date of the application is received. So if you are between the ages of 18 and 36, you get six points. You are between 37 and 47, three points. And you are over 48, then you have got no points, okay? Point number three, the applicant work experience in one of the priority NOC groups listed above. Then if you have two years of experience, you're going to get two points. You got three years of experience, you're gonna get four points. If you got four years of experience, you got six points. And you have five years, eight points, and you got more than six years, you're gonna get ten points. Okay. And bonus application has at least one year of continuous full-time work experience in South Saint Marie with a, within the past five years. For any instance that you probably were working in the community before you apply, 
and you were working for a full uh, year, then you get eight extra points as a bonus, okay? The applicant has studied at a post-secondary institution in Sault Ste. Marie. So if you're studying one of the institutions uh, that are located in the community, then if you study for more than two years, uh, within the past five years, you get six points. And if you study one year, within the past five years, you get three points, okay? The applicant is already a resident of the community. Now for that, if you can own a property in the area and reside in property, you get eight points. If you are leasing a property in that area, then you get four points. And you're gonna need to provide, of course, a mortgage statement or letter from the bank to demonstrate the ownership. Point number six, applicant has personal ties to established members of the community. And here you have, applicant has an immediate family member that has to be a parent, a sibling, a child, who is a permanent resident or Canadian citizen that has been living in, in the community for a minimum of one year. If that's the case, you get 10 points. Eh? Applicant have a, an extended family member, grandparent, uncle, aunt, cousin, niece, nephew, a friend or representative of the established community organization who is permanent resident can or Canadian citizen, and that person has been living in the community for a minimum of one year, and you get five points for that. And they have a note here. Applicants will be asked to demonstrate the proof of the relationship by submitting a letter of support stating the nature or length of the relationship signed by the community member they have identified as a connection to the community. And there's a note uh, on top of that. Applicants may not submit more than one letter of reference with their application. So you don't need more than one letter, just one letter of, of reference, okay? For applicants who have never lived in, in the community of South St. Marie before applying, they need to, point seven, have visited the community at least five nights within the past three years with at least two employers in the line of work during the visit so so you have visited stay five nights there contact two employers during your visit for that action there and you document the action and the interviews and the conversation you get eight points the community may request receive from hotels that you stay contact information for the employers that you met during your visit so that's why important you have your portfolio or when you're visiting and the applicant uh, has an authentic knowledge of interest of recreational, cultural, and lifestyle activity found in South, in South St. Marie. So it's important for you to get familiar with the community, the activity, the festivals, the museums, anything, the, everything that they do. So if you can prove that, then uh, you get five points, okay? Now for the applicant with the spouse or common law partner, then you have the information here uh, that you have a job offer the partner have a job offer in one of the priority communities if that's the case then you get 10 more points or that the applic the, the spouse of the applicant have two years of work experience full-time and continuous within the priority NOC group you get five points and point 10 the applicant's spouse or common law partner has English or French language skill that exceed the CLB NCLC5 in all categories, you get five more points, okay? But remember, you need to provide the designated language test, and it cannot be, the result cannot be uh, older than two years old. So this is basically the information or requirements of the community. I hope you find this information useful, and we'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.